all of the following are real books, written in good faith by authors who acknowledge no sense of irony in any of their efforts. Some just have unfortunate titles. Games you can play with your pussy. Old dykes I have known. The big problem with small organs, 1966, that would be pipe organs, if that clarifies the issue. Cock tugs, 1963 the meaning of which is helpfully explained, a short history of the Liverpool Screw Towing Company. The nature and tendency of balls, seriously and candidly considered in two sermons. The date, 1818, cues us as to the true nature of these balls, soirees. Shag the Pony, 1952. The Boy Fancier, a manual of domestic pets, 1912. The Boy Hunter, <laughs> 1838. Fishing for boys. 1961. Not one of these words is inappropriate. And yet, the increasing depravity of our culture makes these titles less humorous and more literal. There's something called grooming I've been hearing mentioned in the news. I have not yet used Urban Dictionary to hone in on the exact definition. Invisible Dick. 1926. With this succulent passage, Jehoshaphat, what a disgraceful scene, said Dick Brett, doing a series of physical jerks behind a bush as he began to grow into visibility. Talk about your small organs. School experiences of a fag at a private and a public school, 1854. The Gay Boys of Old Yale, 1869. Queer Chums, 1887. Queer Doings in the Navy, 1896. Queer Shipmates. 1962. The Gentleman's Recreation, 1928, by Cox, prefaced by Cumming. Common Truths from Queer Texts, 1908, by Reverend J. Gay. Funny how the meanings of words change. Winston Churchill wished that he had said the only traditions in the Royal Navy are rum, sodomy, and the lash. Why is queer an okay part of the alphabet plus sexuals but not faggot or dyke. Faggot was practically my nickname from my scum brothers when I was a vulnerable, neglected, and abused little child. What's the BS woke lie? Words are violence. No, dumbass. Violence is violence. Words are words, and pain is pain. But not all pain is the same. Well, that can get old, the way words have more than one meaning, queer, fag, jerk. Let's turn to a new page. Handbook for the Limbless, published 1922 by the Disabled Society. Not so droll when we remember how close this was to the First World War. A Treatise on Madness, 1758, by William Batty, get it? Who informs his rapt readership that madness does not respond to the general cures, such as bleeding, blisters, caustics, rough cathartics, the gums and fetid anti-hysterics, Opium, mineral waters, cold baths, and vomits. The problem was no universal health care. Thank you, Obama. You saved us. There is no more madness now. Everyone is completely sane. No one is demented. Another health care problem, the symptoms, nature, cause, and cure of a gonorrhea. 1713 by William Cockburn. Is that a name or a symptom? I, prescri I, I, prescri I prescribe fetid gums and a rough cathartic. Or maybe rough gums and a fetid cathartic for a gonorrhea. For a syphili, too. And also for a herpy. We can't help our names. Yoshimoto Banana. Gottfried Egg. Nude Bug. D-Day. Heidi Ho. Violet Organ. A Farto. Oh, hell. <laughs> Harry Prick. Pierre... Anus. Ludwig von Baldass. M. Fukar. Wolfgang uh, Kunt. Ugh, those Germans. No, we can't help our names. But we can help the titles and subjects of our books. Obesity, Causes, Consequences, and Treatment, 1974, by L. Lasagna. Motorcycling for Beginners, 1980. Jeff Carless, Some Examples of Wave Motion in Fluids, 1975, G.D. Crapper, 
Punishment, 1972, by Robin Banks. Vasectomy, The Male Sterilization Operation, 1972, by P.J. Gillette. Shy Men, Sex and Castrating Women, 1985, by Claude Balls. The Adolescent Diaries, 1980, by K. Horney. Monitoring Family Planning and Reproductive Rights, 1997, by A. Hardon. Sexual Desire and Love, 1983, by E. Fuchs. Well, a lot of the contents of bizarre books are just repetitions on the theme. Odd but not incredibly funny titles and authors. Gay Agony, 1930, by H. A. Manhood. <laughs> he also wrote Night Seed. I learned about that in seventh grade, health class, nocturnal emissions. They use the word gay or queer or inch or dick or roger or ask earnest questions on obscure topics. Guys named Money write books on finance. Some are just out there. Dildo Key, 1940, a novel of the shoreline. Can you believe that? 5% sales tax. It's basically 11% now. Do not come to California. Lesbia's Little Blunder, 1934. Um, something about Lost and Dildo Key. But on the other hand, these authors followed their dreams. They poured their hearts or minds into it and produced something they were proud of. Bad titles or odd names don't mean bad books, although judgment is distributive. In any case, I have been, in my youth, a name bigot. Ha <laughs> ha, your name is funny sounding. <laughs> Something to grow out of. And I, your humble host, have a name that some may find odd. As for all of my books, they are brilliantly titled The Light Touch by Jack Hammer, Birds I Have Loved by J. Human. Yes, I use gnomes de plume. Point is, I have compassion for the multitudes. Of course I do. Writing and speaking, communicating as felicitously as I do, is so, so easy to do, for I am one for whom there is no need for irony for. Self-awareness is for losers.